Hey guys, it's Cat's First Creation here. Welcome to another video. Today I will be doing a tutorial where I show you guys how I wash my fursuit parts. In this, we will be washing some very grimy fursuit feet. And um, yes, these have foot covers and I took them off. So they were... Yeah, I had a fursuit weekend at a baseball game. Result of me walking around in the mud for a while with a bunch of kids. So I will be showing you how I wash it. So uh, yeah. So first things first, what I do is I fill up the sink with some water. This drain is being stupid. So I suggest mainly using cold water. Because who knows, the heat may damage the suit. Now we switch for this to fill up. If it's gonna fill up, let me try something real quick, I'll do it. Okay, so now that we have our sink filled up and ready to go, we're gonna add some stain remover. Make sure it's um, gentle on the suit, because otherwise it may be damaged. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup to it. So now we have a nice little bubble bath for our little pink paws. We're gonna get the pink paws. And we're just gonna slowly get it wet. Like this. Make sure to only get the places wet where you're going to wash it, otherwise you're gonna have some soggy fur. But that'll be okay because you can just dry it anyway, but I suggest it. and get it all over the place where you want it to be. You don't have to scrub super hard, just make sure you get it wet. I may speed up the video or I may skip some of it, just let me know. The way I do this is I get a little bit of water, I put soap on it, and then I dab the soap with the water to make sure it actually gets in there and gets the stain out. And if you don't get enough soap on it, it's not going to work very well. So. I'm going to run the faucet again. It's okay to get the claws to be wet if you do have claws, but make sure you dry them out as well. Okay. Now that you've got it all soaked up, let me rinse my hands off. You could also use your hands like I do and really scrub in there. Because it really gets out all the dust that may be collected into the foot or the fur, whatever you want to say. I don't want 
this video to be boring, but this is a process that I'm going to do. So then once you get the foot nice and soaked up, I'm going to drain. Wait, no, actually, now that I think of it, I should probably fill it back a little bit more with water so I can wash the other foot. So I will see you when I get it ready again. Okay, now it's time to repeat the process on the other foot. Once again, you get the washcloth, soak it in the soapy water. And then you start to dab the soap on the paw. And especially where it's really dirty, you're going to want to scrub a little bit just to make sure all the dirt gets out of it. And to make white look like white again instead of gray. Since this one is dirtier than the other one, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time on it. And if you just can't get the stain out, I suggest going to bleach. But you should only use that as a last resort because it will completely take the color out of everything it touches. And if you have a character with very vibrant colors like Lily Kitty does, then I don't want the colors coming off. Otherwise, I may have to possibly refer it or dye it a different color. So that would be bad. Yeah, also you can use your hands, as I said before. As you can see, I'm working the soap into it and then once again massaging it out with the washcloth. Make sure not to be too rough with it because you might rub off for what you really want to make sure you get all the dirt out. So I'm going to do some more scrubbing with the feet, and I will come back when I finish with this, and then we can go to the rinsing process. See you then. Okay, so now it's time to do the rinsing. Let me go ahead and grab my first foot pole over here. I've set them down for a little bit to kind of let the soap sink in and let it get the, the gunk out of it. So now we're just going to rinse it with some warm water. Just like this. And be sure to get all of the soap out of it. Otherwise it's going to look foamy and weird. And it kind of cluts up the fur, which is a little bit uncomfortable when wearing it. So make sure you really squeeze all the soap out. And be sure to squeeze out all the water as much as you can. Just like that. I squeeze it out and wash it a couple of times just to be sure I really get the soap out because it can cause some damage. So once again, I'm just going through and squeezing out on the soap. Okay, so now that we have that done, we have foot number two. Once again, I have my soapy, soggy foot. 
in here. Rinse. Our fursuit foot bath. Okay, awesome. Now, once again, squeeze out all the excess water. Okay, and now let me just drain, drain all the water. Okay, perfecto. Now we dry the feet, and I will see you outside. Okay, so here we go. We're going off to wash. Not wash, dry some feet paws. Okay, so here we. Are. Okay, so now we're outside with our fresh. We're here with our freshly washed feet paws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shake them out over the edge, like this. Make sure I get as much water out of them as possible. You can also squeeze them too, just to the extras. So then I'm just going to set a towel on the edge like this. And just let them blow dry. So if you are at the drying process right now with me, whatever you do, do not use a hair dryer to speed up the process because the heat from it will damage the fur because the fur is made out of a sort of plastic. Sorry, my cat's here with me. Simon. Meow. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please comment and like and possibly subscribe for more tutorials and videos. And, uh, yeah, tell me if my tutorial worked for you guys. Thank you for watching. Stay pretty.